So NetGate has recently made some uh, significant changes to the website, mandating the use of the new installer for PFSense um, without prior announcement or a blog post. So the new installer aims at streamlining the installation process for both CE and Plus. Uh, it updates repositories on boot, supports multiple versions um, from the single installer, so you don't need multiple images. The installer automatically recognizes if you're using NetGate appliances and applies the necessary hardware configurations. Um, so for PFSense Plus, it's a straight install, so you've no need to install PFSense CE before you upgrade to PFSense and then upgrade to PFSense Plus. Um, so despite these changes, it's still possible to download the original uh, image and ISO files, uh, but these links seem to have been removed from the website. So if you're just looking to download the ISOs, I'll leave the uh, a link in the description below to where you can get them from. Um, the installer is a lot bigger than the original ISOs. So the download's a bit more. Um, but luckily you can still skip it. So uh, I'm going to show you how to download the new NetGate installer in this video. And then I'm going to walk through. I'm just going to install it on Proxmox and boot it up so we can see what the installer works like because I haven't used it myself. So we'll do that right now. Sheridan Computers. IT. Communications. Support. Normally to download PFSense, we just go head over to uh, pfsense.org and then select download. And this is where things have changed slightly. Um, so you can see it now says PFSense Plus and PFSense CE software downloads are available for installation via the NetGate installer. So click the download link to redirect to our online store, which kind of makes it sound like they've hidden it behind a um, paywall, but they haven't. The download is still free. And um, so what we need to do is select this download here. And now we get the NetGate installer. Um, so you need to select the image type. So this is similar to previously. Um, so under image type, we've got MemStick USB, which is for NetGate hardware and all of Intel AMD 64. So that's the USB one if you're going to burn it to um, your hardware using USB. Or if you want the ISO, you want uh, AMD 64 ISO IPMI virtual machines. And then obviously you've got the MemStick Arch version. So select AMD 64 ISO and then add it to your cart. Now at this stage, um, if you don't have an account with um, the NetGate shop, you're going to need to create one. So if you head over to create account, then you want your first name, your last name, your email address and your password. Now you will have to verify the email account because they'll send the code. I already have an account, so I'm just going to go and check out. So check out. You can see the total is showing as zero. We'll check out. And then I need to log in. So I'll stick my email address in. Now, as soon as I put my email address in, it's come up straight away and asked me to enter a code without actually putting any password in there. So I'll go ahead and do that. Zero, zero, five. So we signed in and we've got the shop. Um, so it does say total zero, NetGate install, and it's shown that we've got the ISO. Um, so once we've done this and you've filled this information in, uh, agree to the terms and conditions, and then click complete order. So now you can download your zero value ISO if, uh, PDF receipt if you want. Um, this preparing downloads is now changed to download now, so we can go ahead and click download. Okay, so it's um, a compressed ISO file, so I'm just going to um, extract that. Uh, no, I'm not because it's uh. 
You've got seven zip on it? Yeah, we have. So I'm going to extract it. So you might notice it's showing PFSense Plus Installer. Yeah, so I'm going to upload this to Proxmox and see what happens. I'm going to go to uh, where is it? Local Storage, ISL Images, and then Upload. And then we'll upload the installer. You may notice that the uh, file size of this install is 1.34 gig now. Okay, well that's downloading. Let's um, dive into this Reddit post. So I'll leave the link to um, this post below. Um, so if you want to see this post yourself on Reddit, you can uh, find it in the description. Uh, so is NetGate requiring a login to download C now? I uh, just went to the PFSense C download page and when I clicked download button it took me to this page where I could uh, add the free image to my shopping cart. So there's a response from um, NetGate saying we consolidate into the NetGate installer for both C and Plus since it can install either C or Plus one of the nice things about it is that it updates the repositories it uses on boot and lets you select multiple versions of the software from the same installer. Um, so as I noticed, the uh, it's now a 1.34 gig download. So no need to keep a separate image for CE or Plus on multiple images for the previous Plus installs for NetGate models, unless they have a different console outputs or CPU architectures. This simplifies the process of install for end users and for us, as we don't need to build more than three images to cover every white installation, white box installation, sorry, or NetGate branded appliance in existence. We only need an AMD64 for Serial and VGA as well as ARM64. Also means that end users only need to know, do I have Serial VGA IPM output? No more bespoke images for various for variations and permutations. We did a, lot of, did a lot of work with the bootloader to make it so that when you boot it on NetGate Appliance, it recognizes the hardware model and immediately applies the appropriate, appropriate tunables, uh, like the loader got dot com file modifications for things like switch port hardware or other hardware specific features additionally if you want to install directly to pfsense plus you don't need to do the ce and then upgrade to pfsense plus dance anymore simply run the installer it'll give you your ndi purchase a plus license on the store hit refresh on the installer and you can go straight into plus so there's no need to install ce and then upgrade to plus anymore uh, unless you install C now and then decide to go to plus later if you want the offline installs for something like PPPoE1 or other situations where the NetGate installer doesn't work for you you can find the old installer hosted in the same place as before so the um, ISO files we plan to have the option for PPPoE1s in a future version of the NetGate installer I hope this helps for anyone that has issues using the NetGate installer for PFSense um, so it makes sense that they've got an installer for that can install either C or Plus, but they still should have left the link somewhere on the download page to the uh, CE downloads and the ISOs. Um, even a forum moderator has um, chipped in here. So I just want to chime in. The forum problems seem completely separate. Blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm all for CE downloads coming back to the normal form again. Don't get me wrong, but what they did was the NetGate installer out of the door. And while it's a good thing, it's also a bad thing for free shop download instead of simply putting it to download like C image, images before. Um, so this is a long Reddit thread. Um, Tom Lawrence has posted, pulling a change before a blog post explaining that change is just dumb. You get that marketing is hard, but this is not a marketing issue. It's communications. A simple, hey, we're making some changes and here's why. Kind of a blog post that would solve the drama around people guessing what those changes are. So yeah, absolutely. They should have um, released a blog post on this. As I say, I'll leave the full link to this. Um, and the link directly to the ISO. So you can still download as you did before. Uh, but as you can see, this is a fairly in-depth thread. 
Um, and there's a lot of people not happy about the way they're doing it. Um, with that, let me see where we're up to with the download. So I'm still uploading it to uh, Proxmox here. So we'll let this finish and then we'll take a look at the new installer. Okay, we've got the installer. So I'm just going to uh, quickly create a virtual machine for this. So name pfSense installer. That's the advanced box. Um, ISO image. Um, pfSense plus installer. And it's the beta one that it said that's on the beta two. So it's the beta two that they've um, got on the website. Not even an official release. Uh, I'm going to set the operating system to other. Uh, I'll leave that as it is just for this. Discs. Let me just st stick on that storage pool. 32 gig will do for this demo. And cash, I'll give it right back. CPU, I'm just going to set this to host for this one. So I'll we'll give it one socket, two cores. Uh, 2 gig of RAM will do for this. Disable ballooning. You can only the network as default because it's just a demo of what the new installer looks like. Uh, right, where is it? Is this one right? So let me make this look a bit bigger so we can see what's going on. Uh, let's go ahead and start it. Yeah, move this over here a bit. Start now. This is the first time I've seen this, so I'm seeing it as you are. We've got the copyright and distribution notice, we'll accept it. So install PFSense. Setting up the network to continue the installation. Okay. So Choose a one interface. Uh, and just continue that. Uh, it's asking me to. It says detected KVM best at uh, KVM guest. So it's saying please confirm the inter uh, interface assignments. Just going to continue. Okay, so this device does not have an active PFSense Plus subscription. So to purchase it, we've got the NDI, or we can just go and install the CE version. Uh, so file systems, ZFS, partition scheme, GPT, we'll go ahead and continue. Uh, no redundancy, yep. Choose the hard drive, last chances, yep. Select the version of PFSense CE to install. So we want the latest one, 2.7.2. Okay. Um, so it's installed DRM 510k mod, so um, it can be enabled for AMD GPU and AMG, AMD GPU starting with HD 7000 series or i9-15 Intel. So um, post installation setup is done. Uh, let's go ahead and reboot. So let me uh, remove the disk. And I will notice it just says PFSense, not PFSense Plus. Uh, 
Um, and at that stage, we're back at the uh, usual installer. Uh, it's probably complaining because I only give it one interface. Um, yeah, it's not going to do this. But that's a new installer. Um, so it's easy to install. Definitely complaining because I've only got one interface. Um, let me just add another one to it. Well, oh, um, so VT net, so that's EM zero. Uh, VT net zero will do for the LAN. Yep. And that's it. We have, um, PFSense 2.7.2 CE installed and uh, you can see it says KVM guest um, so the installation procedure is much easier um, I'm going to leave that there because I've got plenty of videos on PFSense once you've got it installed so that's the new NetGate installer um, as I say I'll leave the links to the original ISOs in the description below so you can just download them and bypass the installer um, the installer is a lot bigger than the usual ISOs if you found this video useful, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing, especially if you're interested in PFSense. Uh, hit the notifications icon. You might get a notification on the next video I do. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.